Once upon a time, in a quiet village nestled amongst rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Anya. Anya was filled with a bright curiosity about the world and an unwavering sense of kindness. Her village bordered an ancient monastery, renowned for its wise monks who followed the teachings of the Buddha. One day, Anya's curiosity led her down a winding path towards the monastery. The ancient walls were a beacon, and she felt strangely drawn to their quiet promise. As she approached, she saw a lone monk tending to a small garden. He moved with a slow, deliberate grace that fascinated her. Good morning, she called out shyly. The monk turned, his face creased in a gentle smile. Good morning, child. What brings you to our humble monastery? I saw you from the village, Anya replied, and I've always wondered what life is like here. The monk chuckled softly. It is a life of peace, learning, and reflection. Would you like to see for yourself? Anya's eyes widened, and she nodded eagerly. The monk led her through the hushed halls of the monastery. The peaceful atmosphere settled like a gentle blanket over her. They stopped before a large room where a group of young monks sat in meditation. These young men are learning the art of mindfulness, the monk explained. They train their minds to be present, like a still pond reflecting the sky. It helps them find peace within themselves. Anya watched the young monks, a sense of longing stirring within her. In her small village, life was a whirlwind of activity and quiet moments were rare. After their tour, the monk and Anya returned to the garden. He offered her a small spade. Would you like to help me tend the garden? It is another way we practice mindfulness, focusing on the simple task at hand. Anya spent the afternoon working in the garden. The sun warmed her back, the rich earth filled her senses, and the gentle rhythm of planting and weeding soothed her mind. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, a monk spoke. Anya, remember that peace is always within reach. Sometimes we need to find a quiet garden, whether it's a physical place or within our own minds. Would you like to learn some ways to find that stillness? Anya's heart leaped. Yes, please. The monk taught her simple breathing meditations and how to observe her thoughts without judgment. He spoke of the Buddha's teachings on compassion, letting go of suffering, and finding joy in simple things. Days turned into weeks, and Anya became a fixture at the monastery. She learned from the wise monks, meditated in the serene gardens, and found a deep sense of belonging she never knew existed. While it was time to return to her family in the village, Anya felt a change within her. She carried the lessons of the monastery back into her daily life. One morning, Anya woke up unusually early, long before the village stirred. A sense of peace filled her. Inspired by the monks, she decided to create her own moment of stillness. Sitting quietly, she closed her eyes and focused on her breath. At first, her mind buzzed with restless thoughts, but gently, like brushing away cobwebs, she brought her attention back to the rise and fall of her chest. As she meditated, Anya began to feel a profound calm wash over her. Her worries faded, and a gentle warmth filled her. She thought of the monk's words about gratitude and silently thanked her family, her friends, and even the rising sun that promised a new day. When she finished her meditation, Anya felt renewed, ready to face the day with an open heart and a quiet mind. She knew the business of the village awaited her, but she also knew she carried a place of stillness within her, a gift from the wise monks and the early morning hours. And so, Anya continued her practice, a young girl transformed by the stillness of dawn and the timeless wisdom of the Buddha's path.